Hey, this is Joel, and right now I'm be doing a review on a Zero deck. Okay, so first thing to start off with here, um, this Zero in particular, I'm going to start off with the shape. I'm going to do all the personal preference stuff first, and then I'm going to get down to the facts. Okay, so personal preference wise, um, well for the shape anyways, it's got medium concave. It's not like it's good because it's not like a total U shape. It flattens out a little bit, and what I call the stress crack range is what I like to call it because it's part of the wheelbase, but it's not really part of the concave. It's, it like goes flat right in there. That is what I call the stress crack range because sometimes you get those stress cracks going. <laughs> but that didn't happen with this deck. It got a few stress cracks, but not much. Anyways, now personal preference wise, the shape is really stubby. So if you're someone who likes stubby decks, you want to get this here zero. I'm not too sure whose pro signature it is. All I know is I got it for 40 bucks, and I was like, hey, that's not bad. So I'll try zero because I don't want to try zero for a while. So I did. And yeah, it. I skated it for two and a half weeks. Um, because of the shape, I mean, like zeros. If he, it's really the pop really depends on the deck shape. Like if. It has a longer nose and tail, and it's not stubby. The pop is going to last a lot longer. I know that from experience. This deck was stubby. It lost pop within a week. Um, so, yeah. But it was good. It was strong. Like, both the nose and tail are cracked, but it's not real bad. I mean, like, it, when I landed, I just landed, like, a total full on a tray flip down a little, like, drop. It was maybe, like, about, oh, three feet, something like that. And I landed with my back foot like, like a tard. And it, all it did was just give it a few stress cracks. So it's really not that bad. I mean, they're pretty strong. And then my nose cracked a little bit. Very slightly. Very, very, very slightly. Less than the tail. It's like right. It's weird. It's in a weird spot. I don't even know how I manage that. Look, it's like right there. Right my finger's at. How do you manage that? I don't know. My name is Joel. And I manage some really weird stuff that I don't know how to explain. And that's just the way it is. Yeah, that was on a switch tray down a really small grass gap at a friend's house. Like, the grass gap is really not that big. It's, like, seriously, like, about, um, between a foot, not my head height. It's, like, under two feet high. It's under two feet. It's a really small gap. Fun to session, though. Um, uh, yeah, but this deck, for someone who likes stubby decks, I would recommend this. Definitely. The hydration of the wood, it doesn't chip that easily because the wood is at a really nice hydration level. Like, it's not too dry, it's also not too soggy. The pop does get soggy after a little bit, which is kind of weird, but it's not real, real soggy. It just kind of loses it. It doesn't get like flimsy or anything. It keeps its shape, it keeps its stiffness. Really nice deck. If you're getting something from Black Box, it's going to be good. I've skated a mystery. Now, the mystery, on the other hand, even though they, they're made exactly out of the same same black box wood, same mold, same press, same everything, same factory, the mystery lasted three times longer, and it's still in a good condition. I just didn't wear it down that much because a friend gave it to me as a gift, and I didn't want to, like, really get it all thrashed. And that one lasted me six weeks. This one, two weeks, and two and a half weeks, I skated it. For as long as I could until the fact that the pop was gone annoyed me entirely. But that's all because of the shape. I mean, like I said, longer shaped nose and tails on decks keep their pop three times as long. It also depends on what you skate. Um, if you're skating a smooth surface, it's going to last longer. If you're skating a rougher surface, your decks really are not going to last that long. Also depends on how much you skate and what your skill levels is and everything else. There's a bunch of different varies. It varies a lot, but zeros are good. I would recommend them. They're a solid deck, and just for you guys that are into the, like the weight of a deck, uh, it's just normal. There's really the weight. It really isn't that much of a difference. I mean, seven ply deck. It's really the same all over every deck. Is the same weight as long as they're but depending on the size. Like this one's an 8.25 because I skate between 8 and 8.25.
and my favorite size is right in between, 8.125. But that's all personal preference. This deck is good, and yeah.